it would be a conversation. On a neutral field. Can I get a coach here? Gentlemen. There's no coaches over here. Don't look at me. How many? Not your lucky stash. There they are. Right there. I want to be a smarter one. I <laughs> it's sort of like people. You know what people is? Uh, oh, see what they well. Yeah, CBS is a chain right here. Yeah, CBS bought oh, okay. people. So I like, go, hey, go to people. Sitting over there on the side. Who picked up? All the game balls were over there. Say no to snow. So we got uh, game two going here Gonzaga versus uh, Wilson High School. Uh, Wilson will be home. It's Chance Ledger pitching to Benny Thompson. Uh, and let's see, at third base. Looks like we got Jack Walsh. At short, we got uh, Noah Gold. At second base, we got Evan, no, Ethan. Um, thank you, Ethan Lasser. At first. <clears throat> we got Kalaitzi. Drew, Drew Kalaitzi. Uh, I'm trying to figure out, uh, I can't see who's in right field, but in left field, we got uh, Ben Perez. And in sack center, we got Julian Kennedy. And in right, EJ. 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 
We got umpire Shapiro behind the plate today, this afternoon. This afternoon I am, yeah. It's a cloudy, cold, overcast day. Uh, we got a little bit of snow coming down here and there. Take a longer step, Ben. Here, a little high inside. Pitcher is Chance Ledger. I think Dad went to hide. Well, come on over here, stand next to me. You know, bring the blanket. We can. So we got a good strike there. Good some animation. Um, I want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. No, happy St. Patrick's Day. Is that what's going on? How's that for color? <laughs> well, they were talking about doubling my pay, uh, my contract from last term. Oh, not even that. <laughs> I think zero times five, no matter what you get, still zero. We got a balmy 41 degrees out here today. Nice little curveball, foul, right side. Let it go! Let it go! So, telling Drew not to go after the foul ball. Now somebody else can. Wait! Get up a little bit. Thirty-two. We are full. No, you don't need much color from uh, from me. <laughs> In a moment here, I'm going to have a. Uh, Joy Wallace come up and talk to us about uh, way to squeeze that, Ben. And Joy Wallace is going to come up and talk to me about the trip to the Dominican Republic. And we'll have a little uh, in-booth conversation here. She'll nod when she's ready to come up. And uh, soon after that, we'll have uh, Chris Skelly. He's going to come up and talk about the annual trip to uh, Myrtle Beach. Is anybody listening? I got three viewers. We got three viewers. But I, I got a complaint from a parent that we needed more color, so I'm going to do some uh, on-air interviews here. What's that? Come on up here. We, we need, we need. We got two historical traditional rivals here, public school, private school. Nice uh, deep drive. Looks like EJ's underneath it. Sure, his coach is yelling about needing two hands, but uh, we got two outs, starting it off early. Although, if I recall, this is the way the game last time started too. We are here in Fort Reno, historic, highest point of DC. Fun fact. Very nice. And there is the uh, the White House bunker there in center field, left. You do get a nice view from the clock tower at Wilson High School. It's a kind of a climb, but uh, you're welcome anytime to join me if you ask. 
I do that with the architecture class every year. I've been up there, yeah, several times. What is it? What's that? What is it? The clock tower? It's just a place where we watch, you know, you can sort of see the windows there. Oh, the clock tower. I thought you were pointing at that tower. Oh, that is a filtration tower. Um, there's three filtration towers. Um, I know that... I got this chance! This chance! I will say that there's also some other features of those towers that will remain nameless and, and com commentary-less, um, but it's always fun. Tigers getting a little excited. And here comes Gonzaga. Gotta stay focused. Make good TV there, Blue. <laughs> 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 what are you live streaming it? Yeah, we have uh, what's called Boxcast, and um, you know it's uh, we've been doing it for uh, all all season, all fall. We did football and uh, soccer, did basketball, wrestling, and this spring we're actually at the same time we're now broadcasting the lacrosse game out in Clarksburg right now, as well as this JV baseball game. So same wow. time. Somebody I read somewhere that by either twenty or twenty one. Every uh, fed baseball game will be live there. Yeah. Well, you, Major League's always, it's all live now. Yeah, but that's not high school. What's that? When I say fed, that's, that's high school. Oh, well, yeah. Literally every NFHSA. We got it working right now. Two. We got Noah Gold. I'm working, I'm working. And he kicks and pitches. And first pitch is a strike. with me. This is, uh, I got Ryan Skelly here. His uh, brother uh, played in the last game. Um, future big baseball player, are you? 
Yeah. You play uh, Cap City Little League? Yeah. And uh, which team are you on this season? Have you been uh, picked yet? Senators. So you're playing on the Senators, and uh, that's Major League, right? Yeah. Major Division? <laughs> okay, you got a strike early on, uh, actually two strikes there on Noah Gold. Um, so um, right now, uh, what's your favorite baseball team, high school baseball team? Wilson. Wilson, okay, all right. Oh, I was let that one hang and let's see if we can beat that out. Ah, and one down, put it in play. Um, a battle there. Got Chance Ledger coming up to bat. So Ryan, uh, what is your favorite position to play? Uh, second base. Second base. Second base. And after second base, what's your favorite position? Third base. Oh, you like the infield a lot, huh? Yeah. Tell me about the best play you ever made. Uh, once I made this play, wait. A little high? Once you made this play, did you, was it a double play? Uh, oh, yeah, once I had a double play. Okay. Well, last season or ever? Well, ever. Uh, that looks like it's going to drop in. That's Chance Ledger. Looks like he's going to get at least two. I went underneath the fence, so he's going to stay to second base. There goes the no-hitter. Is that how hard you hit the ball? Yeah. Yeah, Ryan says he hits the ball that hard. Ryan, you weigh what, 75 pounds? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Ryan, I want to say thank you for coming and sharing. You ever thought about pitching? Are you right-handed? Uh, yeah. Do you I pitch a little bit? I used to pitch, but not really. Anymore. But you could pitch again if you wanted to? Maybe. Uh, I think all the cool kids pitch, too. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us, Ryan. We got Jack Wallace, batting number three. One out, runner on second. Nice curveball in there for a strike early on, getting ahead. Outside this time. Still a nice curveball. Very pretty. Like three curveballs in a row. Jack's reputation stands ahead of him. You get three curveballs in a row. Let's see what they throw at him. He's definitely moving the runner over. And we got our runner here at third. So he did his job. All the players would be proud. It's Drew Clasey. Curveball out. Oh, he caught the corner. Not the corner. Another curveball. All right, uh, so Ryan, you're going to have to climb up there in between innings. You know what to do, Drew. Just poke it through, okay? I'll help you up the first few steps. So that ball got caught in the screen. We'll get it down here in a minute. Ball, two strikes. And a 
hard hit ball. We're gonna go over to one here. And a scoreless bottom of the first. All right, Ryan, you ready? out here. Thank you very much. Thank you. There's no messing around on that play. The number four batter. Side corner. A lot of agreement here on the uh, Wilson side. off the field if nothing else.
So the discussion is uh, about that uh, the batter that was hit was a DH, and so he's trying to figure out if the pitcher has to hit from that spot, or can he put someone in the DH spot, or who the uh, the runner would be. Um, so they'll sort it out all here, but I just wanted to let you know, folks at home can't hear the conversation that we can hear. And um, they'll make a decision here shortly. Pitcher Chance Ledger is uh, keeping warm um, while they're in time. Defensively, it's still the same group in there. What's the story you're sticking with? So no matter how you justify it, it's still <laughs> So they're still sorting out how to um, how to handle this. We're gonna get an explanation here in a moment. Yeah. The umpire will have a conference with the manager of the opposing team. Ground ball left side. So what is what's the rule here? Coach? It's just a little bit more complicated because it's a DH instead of a regular player. A defensive player. So we got a runner in right now. So it's coming down a little bit harder. It's actually mixed with a little bit of rain. I don't know how long we'll be able to stay here. We'll do our best. It's, I don't know if you can see it snowing or not. But it's coming down now. camera dry. Can we go get it? See in the corner of this, the screen there. Looked like he got in. One one. That was a strike. 
right, I called it, but I won't call it until after he's thrown. I got one, two, well. A little high. Strike out, runner advances to third base. No play over there. We're gonna get this intermittent. Yeah, we got uh, Benny Thompson behind the plate here. Score is still 0 0. And uh, shout out to my brother Steve. And there's a Foul ball. It's a squeeze play. Let's go, Tigers! Go, Wilson! See, that was a suicide squeeze play. Yeah, he was coming all the way. He wasn't waiting until the ball was on the ground. Let's see if we can see someone coming down this way. A little bit low. Might be one of those games early where an early score counts. It makes makes a big difference. So two strikes. One ball, two strikes. Wheels on third, runner on third, one out. Two strikes, one ball. Well outside. Runner's coming. Oh, we got him. Let us know if you need staff. 
So we got a ball four there, runner on first. I believe it's two outs. Extend your stride. We got a runner at second. Two outs. We're gonna focus on the batter here now. can request time, but the umpire does not have to grant it. It's a courtesy. And pitcher was already in his motion, so he did not give him time. on that uh Ben Perez at bat. One strike, two balls. Two, two. On the outside corner there. It's a 
the dirt. Outside a little bit, but uh, on the corner. Perfect tight, perfect tight. CJ Morgan at bat here. Let's go, 1 0. Let's go. You got it. Come on. Come on, DJ. Strikes two balls. All right. Let's do it now, Tim. Let's do it. Oh, hi. Full count. DJ's up there battling. And a hard hit ball. Short stop. And he put him away. This is uh, Benny Thompson. Up at bat. Catcher. And love ball. One. It's a big cut. Big cut. Ball one, strike one. Let's go, buddy. In the dirt. It's in there, 2-2. Two, two. Looking at a curveball right now, probably. Let's see if he adjusts his grip. Ah, new life. Two two count. Two outs. Score still zero zero. Little low. Full count. I can't control that. Or are you saying that I'm full of hot air as the uh, commentator? Is that, which one were you going with? Did I, I'm just talking too much, or is it just? Face of the fence, right there. You all right, Blue? Right. Yeah. 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 My ears are ringing, but that's why God made these things. Uh-oh, the earmuffs are coming out. <laughs> That's good. Change. Yep. And the catcher just never saw it. 
Pitch for Benny Thompson. See if he can battle here and get a hit. Even the Gonzaga parents are saying something about that call. That's a vice drummer. <laughs> yeah. That's why I said my strike zone for 20 years. Don't worry. All the Gonzaga parents are happy. All big smiles over there. <laughs> My brother's commenting. Yeah, that was a terrible call. My wife's next to Kelly. She said, Thompson's commentary is golden. It's golden? Golden. Well, I should, uh, I, I got a parent over here. He's going to come wait, in. Are you live on the stream? Oh, yeah, we're live. That's what I asked. <laughs> you know, Apparently, my commentary is golden. So, what else did they say about that? They said it was a terrible call. They're texting in right now. <laughs> Look, I can see the text come in. The Twitter feed is busted out. How many viewers do we have? Like six? What's that? How many viewers do we have today? We got five right now. Five nice. live viewers. I mean, that's five warm people right now, I'm guessing. Yeah, there's five people smarter than us. <laughs> yeah, the, you know, for all five of you at home, I'm sure you're nice and warm. That's a way to shoot there, Benny Thompson. Hey, is, uh... Yeah. <laughs> The uh, replay on that, uh, it was uh, halfway up his shin. Um, so it's, um, but, uh, there's a little shout out here from uh, Joy Wallace to Jim Wallace. I love you very much and I miss you. As she says, giggling. It was a close play. Good play by Jack Wallace. Basin uh, making a pretend play over at first. Got a fan, uh, a fan viewer saying he's very warm right now on on the text. A fan just texted in saying it was very warm where he was watching the game from. Up uh, oh, out of play. So we're uh, we're looking for uh, Diane Dragod if she's uh, she can text in and uh, so some complaints that uh, something about fair weather fan what, what was that fair weather we do have a wintry mix going on right here. Is 
something about all of your worldly possessions are now someone else's. I don't know what that is, but uh, we got a defensive play on here. On the infield, we got uh, Jack Wallace at uh, third. No gold at short. Ethan Lasser at second, and uh, Drew Kalasi at uh, first base. And we got Ben Prez in left, Julian Kennedy in center, and E.J. Morgan in right field. No changes. Apparently it's 69 degrees in Atlanta, Georgia. Walk it out, walk it out. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. Oh, you okay, Blue? Yeah. As long as it hit there, didn't bust in that pen, I'm fine. It's usually courtesy um, that uh, after umpire gets hit, that the catcher walks the ball out, gives a chance to recover. Same thing if the catcher takes a hit, the umpire will walk the ball out to the mound, just as a chance to get everyone's senses back on. Umpire says he's fine. Pitch, foul ball. There you go. There you go, Chance. You're doing great, bud. Go, Tigers. A lot of good courtesy okay. baseball here today. Trying to learn how the big boys play baseball, and uh, we're uh, figuring it out. Good base running going on today. Nice curveball, right up the middle. Looking at a play at four. Oh, no play at four. So the score is now one nothing. I want to thank uh, Joy Wallace here for the umbrella that's keeping uh, keeping the camera dry. Otherwise, we'd have to sh shut down the uh, it's official Little League umbrella. Oh, it is. We'll show it to you here in the in between innings. It's got the seal and everything. It's keeping the camera dry at this moment in time. Foul ball. Off attempt there at uh, second base. Nice work, and we got an infield fly here. Looks playable. Yes. Ball did hit the ground. So we got runners on first and second. Not sure how that one scored. It's one nothing. No, the guy scored from second. Any outs? I forget. No outs. No, he, he dropped the ball. On the edge of the grass, I think he tripped on the lip. No, you have to have runners. The rule on infield fly is uh, there have to be runners on first and second with less than two outs. So now it could be. Now it could be, yes. And everybody's safe. That's why you charge on the ball, play two, you gotta charge. So a good uh, small ball game going here with Gonzaga. Bases are loaded, no outs. Bring an infield in here. We're going to try and make the play at home. Anybody have game changer going? Oh. No outs. No outs. No outs. So no outs. Bases loaded. 
Let's see if uh, Chance can work his way out of this one. It's hard to do that. Infield comes in, holes open up. We got 0-2. I got 0-2. Come on. And a swing and a miss. We got one out. We got corners now. A little high. A little high again. Two balls, no strikes. Two strikes, or sorry, excuse me, two balls, one strike. It looks like it's out of play. Foul ball. Not out of play quite. The uh, parents here on the sidelines are bragging about how they're stealing their kids' blankets and using them during the game. Yes, theft of blankets for the game. They're staying warm. They're happy. They are not warm, apparently. So we got two outs now. I am doing commentary. Oh, he's gotta... Do you want to do some sideline interviews? Sure, come on over here. This yeah. No, I meant I would interview. Oh, well, I mean, you'd have to bring someone over. The camera's kind of like in, in a spot. She can ask us all your commentary as Come on. Yeah, let's go. So I got uh, No Gold's mom here. Oh, hey, athletic director Mitch Gore has showed up here. And uh, scores one nothing. Bases loaded, two outs. So uh, I understand that we're also doing a live cast of the uh, live broadcast of the lacrosse game. Boys game, Boys game earlier. I did see that was listed there. And uh, this is game two. Uh, I want to thank uh, the athletic department for allowing us to broadcast these games. And uh, we keep moving forward. And we're going to try and bring you the best possible product as you support our kids and our sports here at Woodrow Wilson High School. So the Gonzaga coach making a comment about swing the bat to his home player. So a little inside. So uh, Coach Gore, comment here. I guess the uh, girls team, softball team, is uh, going to Puerto Rico next week. And the boys uh, JV team is going to Myrtle Beach. It's our annual events uh, during spring break. And uh, any words of wisdom? Represent well. Represent well. Okay. Enjoy, have fun. Were able to make it out to the lacrosse game? Do you, do you know the results of that? It was a tie. Oh, that's allowed. So it was uh, out in Clarksburg, is that correct? Oh, it was right here on the field. And strike three. So they got out of that one. There's no outs. Bases loaded. One run was scored. Um, so that uh, was a little saving there.
So, uh, text question in is that the world famous Mitch Gore athletic director absolutely was. Uh, he's going over to chat with the, uh, the, uh, the, the coach from uh, Wilson. Uh, the Gonzaga coach in front of us is discussing um, balls and strikes. I was going to show you this is actually a little league umbrella here. That's what we said. See? We want to shout that out there. I uh, want to thank again Joy Wallace for the little league umbrella. Uh, it's keeping us. Uh, well, we, well, we're happy to have one here because it's uh, enabling us to or allowing us to uh, keep broadcasting. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to broadcast. It's a terrible, oh, it's, I'm getting a critique from the professionals here. Oh, I'm going to try to improve that. Maybe, maybe you should spend three hours listening to my color. <laughs> well, uh, so good, okay. So the British woman in the background is Joy Wallace. I want to thank her again for the umbrella. Unfortunately, she's wearing a Haverford blanket. I'm not sure what the Haverford blanket's all about, because we all know that Swarthmore is the place to, you know, that's where all the, uh... No, you gotta go take a full, uh... So this is Ethan Lasser at bat, number two. He is playing second base. He closed out the game, the previous game, the doubleheader. <laughs> big hack, big cut here. Like that kind of swing. Hey, I want to say hi to uh, Chance's Aunt Mary up in Massachusetts. Uh, hey, we are up to four live viewers. You want to say thank you to all of those who have. Uh, a little delayed call there. Strike three. Moving this game along. This is a Julian Kennedy. So Jules, shout it out. Jules is a, uh, a sophomore, transfer from Latin. We're glad to have him. His speed and his bat. Definitely center fielder. Came across. Hi. The one bad thing about doing color here is I can't walk around the field and color commentate, but uh, I want these points. I'm going to see if I can't get a parent to move the camera left if there's a play to the left side of the field. Otherwise, this, this camera can stay, uh, stay in one spot. <laughs> oh, outside, and here we're leading off, Noah Gold, he is uh, as good as Gold, get a, a wry smile from one of the parents. And we put it on the left side here. And uh, one pitch, one. And that's a one, two, three inning. And we're going to move on. Walk around the field real quick. All right. Thank you. I got. I want to say thanks to Scott Gold for holding the umbrella over the. I'm just going to go try and warm up. It's a. It's a balmy 39 now. I'll be back in a moment.
No, I'll, I'll go dark for a little bit. I, yeah, exactly. You want to come tell him? <laughs> Two away. Two down. I know. I retired. <laughs> Two down. Safe at first. Yes! I know exactly.
like uh, Scott Gold. Like I, I, you didn't I, talk about no, that I, double play I, or I anything? Like, it's right there on the screen. I felt, I felt like I couldn't do justice. So you, oh, I don't believe know. that for a second. <laughs> One two count? Yeah. So two out. I saw that One, double two. play. Yeah. I feel like very warm right now. You do? Oh my I that that walk? Already. Oh yeah. Just I picked up all the poles out there too. We had a big windstorm. Oh my goodness, it was a huge windstorm. And uh That's strike three. Big, big windstorm. Um, and uh there's a little got that inning out of the way. Um, so, so I retired? Well, I don't know if retired, you know, you might, I might need a sub here. Um, well, side retired. Side retired. Oh, the side, oh, thank the side. you. The side the is retired, side. yes. yes we'll not you, we're not putting you at the <laughs> Yeah, there was this um, a huge, huge windstorm in, uh, about two weeks ago. And uh, we have these metal, this metal siding, metal roof material. Three feet by eight feet, four feet by eight feet. And they blew all from the top of our container all across the field here. You can even find some on some trees, wrapped around trees. That was how much wind it, it actually blew our fence. You can see the outfield fence there. Uh -huh. Blew the outfield fence down, ripped some of the connections out of where they were. Huge repair job. Um, found a whole bunch of poles that uh, we might be able to reuse. Uh, and uh, some caps and things. But uh, yeah, no, the wind did, did a number on us. Is you. Two. So it's a one nothing game still. And, uh, bottom four. I believe it's bottom four. Game is moving along. And uh, we're just one hour. We're actually one hour into the game right now. So uh, we'll keep it going. Scott, are you uh, traveling with the team down to Myrtle Beach this year? I am not this year. Not no. this year? Not Scott, this year. Uh, Scott went with us last year, one of the guest coaches. Wouldn't have been able to do it last year without him. I want to say thank you again. It was a lot of fun. It was, it was a lot, lot of fun. fun. Kids had a lot of fun. I'm sure they will this year as well. Yeah, I hope they don't have as much fun as they had last year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I don't know if they had a lot of fun. They were a little mischievous. I but, think, yeah. yeah. Um, I think it was they very, kept, very they harmless. They kept themselves entertained. Yes, they did. <laughs> and uh, everyone was safe. And... Uh, we won most of our games. I think we just the only problem we had was that first game. The first day, the first game. That's right. And won the rest of the games. So it was uh, a good adventure. The nicest thing about that trip is I didn't have to drive. Yeah. Look at that lovely bus driver. Was he? Uh, Uncle something. Yeah. I don't recall. He was, he was, he was, he was very nice. Yeah, he was a very nice guy. Yeah. Oh, we got a solid hit going. Nice straightaway center. Caught. Yeah, the wind's picking up a little bit here, but uh, hopefully it won't, won't kick us out. Hopefully we'll get this game in before it gets to be too bad. One down, one down, one down. It's one of those days when you fill your tub full of warm water and just sort of sit in it for 20 minutes after a game like this. Hopefully it'll warm up your core. Come on, Jack! Yeah. Really, I can do it. You listen, I was actually... High and outside. This is Jack Wallace at bat. The game's the first one. A hard hit. Heads up! We were worried about that. The uh, all the little kids were playing over in the tennis courts, which are right here next to the uh, the baseball field. And the, the foul ball was hitting hit right there. You can hear some of the screams. Nobody got. It wasn't really close. You know, 15 feet. It still makes you worried a little bit. Nice curveball. Started high, cut right there at the end. Oh! Foul ball, foul ball. Right close to that line. But six inches, so. Yeah. It's got white chalk on it. It does. Well, the chalk technically is in. 
No, it's the right car. It was just about that far away. Nice You're right down the line, aren't you? We got some parents right down the line. That was foul. No, it was about six inches. Yeah. About six inches. Outside. That was a wicked curveball. Would have I would have swung at that one. For those from Boston. And a hard hit ball. Third baseman. And an out. What good hustle there by the catcher. Catcher hustled down. I always like to see that. Any other folks I should shout out to? We still got four live viewers. Kirsten. Diane is still, uh, maybe she's watching from one of the windows. She's still catching a lot of grief for uh, not uh, not being a, I, my, my wife wouldn't be out here either. <laughs> nope, too cold. State high. Drew Clacy here at bat. Oh, there we go. Oh, it looks like it. Uh, short stop. It's got it. And a nice play by the uh, Gonzaga defense. Very nice play. That's uh, baseball. That's a good quality play. And the Gonzaga bench is getting excited about it. It was a good play. Good good set of downs. Uh, downs, here I am. Good set of outs. And we got uh, Chance Ledgers coming out here for the top of the fifth. Who's that's right? Top five. Yeah. Can you tell from Game Changer how many pitches right he has? Okay. There's Benny Thompson. Benny Thompson, say hi to Uncle Steve. Top five. He has thrown 64 pitches. 64, very efficient. Yeah, through four. 60, yeah. He has eight strikeouts. No earned runs. Mm -hmm. Two quality uh, pitching performances so far. Yeah. It's a one nothing game, so it's uh, been a good game so yep. far. Let's see how we hold. It looks like we got a change on defense. It looks like that's uh, Connor Skelly at second base. I don't know if you can hear that over the sound of the Quicks bus as it was driving by. But again, Connor Skelly is now at uh, second base. And uh, making good plays. See the Wilson coaches over there talking to the head umpire here behind the plate. I'm gonna wait for those defensive changes to be entered. I'm gonna see if there's any other changes around the field. Uh, looks pretty much the same, just that one defensive switch. Coach Martinez, just one defensive switch? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Two, two. two defensive switches. Santos de Leon. Oh, Santos is in left. Oh, instead of Ben Perez. Yeah. So Santos is in. That's why I didn't pick him up right away, because I recognized Santos from last game. He didn't uh, pick up on the change. that this umbrella may be a little heat bubble here. Just keeping the heat in above me. Nice umbrella. It's a great umbrella. 
Again, another shout out to Joy Wallace for the umbrella. It's the third time. That's the last time she gets to say thank you. <laughs> Jim is watching. Well, we've dropped from four down to three, so. <laughs> someone joined and someone. Left yeah. Us. <laughs> And we can always go back and watch this later. Yep. You know, well, I know a lot of the guys will look at it as a great play. They'll, we'll probably cut it. Oh, a oh, hit there. All right. Oh, ground ball with eyes. Well placed ground ball. There's a Noah Gold laying out for it. A lot of good effort there. Loved it. It's a great, great, great little play there. Didn't quite get it, but uh, show a lot of heart. Oh, Called him safe. Close play. It's a nice move. There, but the second baseman comes in behind. Something, someone didn't get a signal. Well, the, the defenders were out there. They did, Benny didn't throw the ball. Oh, I'm not sure. in a row here. Got a play on. So we got Jack Wallace at third, Benny at here at home. Chance Ledger is pitching. Let's see what we can see. Some kind of fake ball. Coach made a, he's put a play on here. We're gonna see if there's gonna be a bunt to move. Safety squeeze, safety bunt. See what happens. Sacrifice. Probably they've got a pretty good short game here. I've noticed Gonzaga has. Everybody's moving, everybody's moving on this play. A lot of good discipline. A lot of sign language going on out yeah. there. Oh, hit him. Everybody moves. I don't think there's any outs yet. Nope. No outs, bases loaded. Two hits, one hit batsman. Come on, let's the door now. Let's go, Tigers! Got a sign coming in. That's a strike. Hey, we're back up to four viewers. Oh, it's gonna drop. Right, we're gonna see what happens here. He got past the uh, right fielder into foul territory. It's coming in. No one's coming in from third, so it's a stand-up double. And uh, two runs scored, so it's three to one now. Three to, three to nothing. Three to nothing. And here comes the feels like sleep coming down. Yeah, we're now on the sleep portion of our weather. Uh, sleep. We're going to see everything today. Yeah. Early this morning it was bright and sunny and 
cold. 38 degrees. Yep. <laughs> the constant's cold. Yeah, the constant has been cold. The wind has cut died down, so we're not in terrible shape here. You can probably hear the uh, sleet on the umbrella. Inside. Double. Both runs scored. It's now uh, five to nothing. And the international sign of my arm is hurting. He's wagging his arm out there. I think he's got a, now we got time. So we're gonna talk about how we're feeling. We're gonna have a little chance, a little talk. A little chance to have a conversation, no pun intended. Actually, that, that was completely intended. He's going to stay in the game. No outs. Runner on second. Gotta get these, some of these guys from Boston to come stand close to the camera. We got some good comments. Nice pitch. Oh, that moved way outside. It was nice, beautiful. Connor Skelly out there, second base, right? And got him. Swing a miss. Big out. One out. Got a pinch hitter in. Top of the fifth, five nothing. One out. Chance Ledger. He's at uh, how many pitches? Seventy-five. Refreshing. Currently working on technology issue. Oh yeah, catching up. Technology is catching up with us here. He's at eighty. He's reaching the end of life here. Nice pitch. That was a nice pitch. And two strikes. Miss inside there. Yeah, one ball, two strikes. A little 
little high. Nice there pitch. Is. Yeah, that was a nice pitch. Was that the two seed? Keep that on back. He says he's got a curveball. No slider. <laughs> it had nice movement on it, regardless. Stay away, Ben. Stay away. Usual smell up here at uh, For Reno. <laughs> there it is. There it is. And we got a 1 1 count. 2 1. One ball, two strikes. Two balls, one strike. I know. So, uh, Scott, how did the play go last night? I didn't go uh, last night. I went Thursday night. It you went Thursday night. It was a great play. Yeah. Shakespeare, right? Yeah. Romeo and Juliet? Yeah, really yeah. Okay, very nice. Still sad. Still sad. Uh, we got a runner moving. There's no play going on. Yeah, we're talking I got that camera came loose. I'm hoping one of these parents around here. Can you just hold that camera yeah. quick? The camera came loose. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Yeah, definitely worth going to see. Okay, is it uh, tonight as well? Tonight as well, actually. Right, this so afternoon, right now, there's a performance there's going a, on. There's a there's a one going on right now. And then tonight at 7:30. Okay, yeah. so uh, double header for the play tonight. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, we got two outs, and uh, Chance steps off. See if he can't get us through five innings. Nice pitch. A little foul ball. It's out of play. So, uh, Romeo and Juliet, you have a your child in the play, is that correct? I do. And, and what, what role does she have? I think her, her, her role is Watchman. You know, I know that role. I actually played that role. Did you time. really? I did, I did. Um, I can't remember any of the lines. You're just no. too hard for me to remember. <laughs> It was a few years ago. I think I actually it was more than a few years I think ago. I just had, yes, it was a few years ago. Well, let's just say it was more than, uh, more than a few years ago. More than 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> good in front. One more good one, bud. I guess that was ball four. All right, looks like we might be taking him out. It's his second visit. We've had the full, uh, no birds yet. This is too early in the season for birds to be flying in the field. Definitely a good steady rain going on. It's not sleep. All right, we got uh, Connor Skelly coming in. Let's see uh, who's gonna play second. Connor was at second. Like chance is seen in the game. He's pitching the fifth inning. Like, can you just hold that up? It is, it is. I can hear it on the umbrella. David Thompson had to go to the bathroom. Not sure which, one or two, but we'll ask him when he comes back out. Connor Skelly in the pitch, number one, coming in from second base. Chance Ledger goes from the mound, off to second. Not his natural position, but we'll see how that works out. Good combination there. The Ledger to Scaly combination has been effective in the past. Fish and white wine. Fish and white wine, ham and egg, whatever you want to go with. We have five live viewers. 
If any of them know me, they should text me now. And I'll give you a shout out. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone up in Massachusetts. Opie and Kirsten, are you still watching? We need drinks later. Drinks are definitely in order. Coach Thompson's back from his uh, visit to the Porta Potty. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> it's about the cleanest I've seen that. I uh, just want to do a shout out. Maybe we can get Don's Johns to uh, sponsor, sponsor a game or an event. This is Connor Skelly pitching to Benny Thompson. Straight back, Benny, straight back! And the runner advanced from first to second. Thanks, one. Little ground ball, Connor. Little ground ball, get in the dugout. You got two outs. Yeah. And he offered. <laughs> Two outs. Wow. <laughs> Throwing shade and it's cold out here already. <laughs> so when I say he offered, like, so he basically he swung at that. You know, offered would more for a uh, a bunt. But um, just like you make an attempt at the ball. Well said. Oh, no. Dave Thompson. Yeah. Excellent call. <laughs> and softball. We haven't done a softball game yet on Wilson Live. We'll have to figure that one out. Good block there by Benny. Kept it from going to the screen. Everyone's. Really? It's growing up, huh? Are you just saying that? We, can commentary. we are getting a little bit of commentary here. We got a strike here. You park for free in the parking lot. It's too cold for the meter maids. Oh, uh, nobody's coming down. Well, we got a uh, bases loaded. Ground ball anywhere now. No harm, Connor. Find a way out. Let's go. Ground ball to Drew. Step up first. Get in the back up. We have two outs. So yeah, we're trying to finish out the inning. It's five nothing. I am two. Yeah. Well, I didn't think that was barbecue. Definitely something burning. Not not what we normally smell up here in Fort Reno. No, is that what it is? No, it's not. Nice pitch. Yeah. yeah! We're keeping this game moving along. Finish it up, Connor. Finish it up. Just like that. Look alive, dude! Nice pitch. Oh. Yeah, bases loaded. One ball, two strikes. Yes, sir. No one's coming. Bouncing around here. Two, two. Nice pitch, right up the middle. Safe at first. It's a long way to go for the shortstop. Long way to go. Infield hit there. Nice pitch, Connor. Nice pitch. Really, really nice off balance throw, though. I was at uh, 140 if you want to go back and revisit it. Nice throw by Noah Gold. Great play. Uh, it was just really, really deep there in the hole. It's a natural third baseman. 
only way you can do it short. <laughs> I don't think no no didn't pitch today, so that's why he's got the longer throw. Chance Ledger usually plays shortstop. He's got that. Oh, here we go. That's a ball. Hopefully. And EJ makes the third out there. No more damage. Six nothing. <laughs> My left arm here is getting a little tired because um, I've been holding this umbrella here. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, if you're like into it. Oh, that's great. So keeping the camera dry. I still see the tower. The clouds aren't that low. Yes, piano's coming up here. Really? <laughs> so this is, uh, I believe, bottom of six. Bottom of six, bottom of five. Bottom of five, bottom of six. Bottom of five. I'm getting the nods from other active pairs. Um, Scott, I have hand warmers. Do you want me to? I think they're passing them out in the. I have dugout. some more. If anyone, I, I wouldn't want to go there and get in trouble. But <gasps> could you? Not for you. For the player. I'm the one that's holding the. No, actually, I'm the one that's holding the umbrella. Would you want to give these to the boys? Scott, do you want to go give these to the boys? I could use one of those for my food. There's a CPS on it. There is, wow. <laughs> Six live viewers right now. We're actually a little bit excited about that. Who's wrong? I know. To give you an idea, uh, we had our high of live viewers on Wilson Live. Our, our, our live, our highest was uh, previously was when uh, Gonzaga played Wilson in the basketball uh, playoff in the semifinal. Had 300 live viewers, and then the next high was uh, St. John's two days later. Uh, 723 uh, live viewers. It was a uh, Banner day for a uh, banner week for uh, Wilson Live. Let me ask you from a visual perspective, Dave Thompson. Would it be better to have the camera perhaps at an angle so you could see not just the plays coming over the plate, but the feel of it? So yeah, that's a that's a good point. You know, I was looking at this and uh, the plays on the right side. When I when I set the camera on the right side, I can't really get first base, which is where a lot of the plays are going. But I can get from the right from the left side here. I can get the plate, the batter the catcher and the umpire and the pitcher and the right side of the field where most of the action is. So I've had a lot of success from this side. Um, I did initially set it up over there, but everything was blocked and I had to move the camera all the time. No option for a dual camera shoot. Well, you know, um, you know, we might be looking at the, the having the parents help out here because we can get a, uh, that's a strikeout by Santos um, moving the game along. Um, there is an option where we have a switcher. Um, the iPhone and the BoxCast has a switching option. Uh, we haven't advanced that far yet. Are we looking for donations from parents? Dave? Always, always. Um, you know, we, we're still running this off of uh, sort of like a shoestring budget. Um, right now, the first goal is to just let's just start broadcasting. Let's just start showing what we have and what we can do. Um, we do have an option if there's out, folks out there of um, sponsoring a game. We have and where an do you overlay. find the game, Dave? Oh, you know, right now we are we are we are mostly just um, right now. It's a it's a link I send out in the morning. So we haven't figured out how to how to post these on our our, our website yet. Which because we, we I have will say capacity. that I have yet to receive an option of knowing how to follow oh. this. Well, I'm not on the business aspect of it. I mean, I can I can do but a little. Being a parent of a Wilson High School baseball player, it would be helpful to get the link to the Facebook Live. Oh, so um, that was sent game. out this morning. To the uh, well, maybe you're not on it, but he, I, I did I'm send on out every one. other email. Yeah. <laughs> so I sent out I sent out a link about uh, what time did I have to get here? Did they get nine? About nine thirty. I sent out the link for the eleven o'clock game. Yeah, a little bit late, but um, it is nice for those parents who got it. 
We'll try and uh, put this on the on the uh, on the website. If you know of any parents who did not perhaps get the link, please contact Dave Thompson at dave.thompson at dcps.gov. Well, it's dc.gov. Dc.gov. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. If you'd like to contribute, <laughs> so Penny Thompson there taking one in the face almost. It's a brave kid. I guess he's used to having a mask in front of him now. <laughs> he just stood there. Um, of course, those parents who didn't get the link wouldn't be able to watch it right now because they don't have it. But <laughs> just saying for those watching, if you know someone who isn't watching. Right. Spread the word. Yes. Ah! It's two strikes. Oh, three one. Yeah, we got the little bat flip that time. There's Connor Skelly at bat, Benny Thompson at first. Ben Thompson. Take a roo over there. Did I get the ball? Is it worth doing that to my pants? See, from a laundry perspective, as I always Yo, do. you know, there's a lot of truth there. Of, uh, yeah, we're constantly watching those, those white pants. Yeah, there we go, yeah. Hoping we would uh, switch at some point back to the gray. I did send a link. Uh, apparently, I'm getting some texts from, from folks that I sent the link at 1033 this morning. Ah, but not to everyone, clearly. So make sure you're on the, uh, the distribution list here. Connor Skelly, who is uh, number one in our hearts. <laughs> There's a little bit of speed, if I do say so myself, on first base. Even though he's the catcher, he's, he's got a little, uh, little wheels to him. No bias there, though. No, at one another's complete bias. From the commentator. One runner's low, so Benny gets down. Oh, he definitely got under it. Nice little steal there. Good job. Good job, Benny Thompson, or Ben Thompson. We'll have to figure out, did he, did he do a Superman? Did he knock the wind out? A little high? A little bit of enthusiasm and excitement out of the game. Benny's uh, set up shop there on the ground. Maybe he'll ask for time. No, he's just going to get up on top of the base. I noticed you choose Facebook Live here. Why not Instagram? Well, actually, we're not using Facebook. We're actually using Boxcaster. Oh, um, so it's it's uh, it's actually a link. Um, oh, so had one received that link, one would know it was not Facebook. But Boxcaster. Yes, yes, yes. So we'll try and get that out. Uh, not um, just perhaps to the fathers on the team. But well, I just sent it out to the whole like sort of like whoever. Well, maybe we'll get the moms to help set, you know set up the. Uh, if you say food. No, I was going to say the uh, the electronic link to ah, the, the, the page um, and the distribution. So I'll, I'll make sure I have at least one uh, mom out there who will always tweet out or send out I the will email. Always tweet it the, uh, out. Yeah. So it was not a, an ideal call for Connor. Is it actually still raining? Um, I feel like the rain has stopped a little bit. Thanks for holding the umbrella. <laughs> it was. There was there's a little bit of rain. A little bit now. Say thanks for holding the uh, umbrella. 
top of six here. I believe Connor Skelly's still pitching. There he goes. Got Woodfin. Woodfin McLean here. He's going to warm up the pitcher. Wave to the camera. So how is the uh, how is the DC real estate market doing? <laughs> overheating, Dave Thompson. Is it overheating? Short supply, homes so, for sale. Yeah. Now my, my parents are trying to sell a, a home down in uh, in Florida. I don't believe we're allowed to do uh, commercials. No, 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 no. We're not. Okay. We are. Oh, I definitely. I'm. I'm I'll shamelessly plug that. <laughs> Three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Can we have it is a, a house? two bedroom. It's right. It's like a mile from the beach. Mm -hmm. Really good price out out near Fort Myer, mm -hmm. uh, Edgewood, I think. Englewood, Englewood, Englewood is where it is. Apparently, the market's a little slow down there. Well, Fort Myers is still the uh, highest rate of underwater borrowers slash foreclosures. Okay. One might call it the epicenter. Wow. Which even 10 years later still. So you're trying to recover? Still hits a lot of markets. It's a nice curveball there. That was a nice curveball though. Nice throw, Ben. Ben did uh, double his uh, throw downs, his uh, throw outs. Uh, couple games ago. We got two in one game. Can you give us the inning and the score? So this is the sixth inning. It is six nothing. Top six, six nothing. Um, six and six. Yeah, there we go. Six and six. Apparently Benny's got to take something off his wrist. He'll probably take his time. Here he comes. More than one. Make him hit. There's a nice hit. Ground ball. Oh. Eat him up. Ground ball left side there. He is playing a little tight. Give yourself some room. No reason this early. He's setting up uh, the double play. Make it look good for TV. He's a large batter. We've got batter number nine coming in for batter number 30. Don't have any idea who those players are. You know what I am going to try to do is go into Game Changer, download the rosters, and pre-populate for the kind of games. Oh, for so uh, that we actually have you know, something other than player A, B, C, D, or one, two, three, four. Because right? you can get them. Now. Yeah, you can. Yeah, right? Well, even after you get the uh, the roster from the other team, you can't yeah. manual enter them. There's there's generally I found last year yeah. enough time. But these guys won't do it. So if it's just there, they can just drop them in. Yeah. Ah! Bit of a quick pitch there. Yeah, it would be nice to pre-populate those fields, make it easier on the players. It's also a discipline. Well, yeah. You could go for the varsity. I don't know if they've been doing player A, B, C, D. And you can also, when the play is a little bit slow, two strikes. How'd it go, Connor? When the play is a little bit slow, they can you know, go in and enter it in. But I think it's important too. To be able to see subs and make sure you're keeping the other team on. Well, I know that Game Changer has, uh, they do have an interface now between games um, where they can do actually. Share. A, mm -hmm, you can share rosters. That's a deep right ball. Out right out left of. field, uh, left center. Uh, just a long out. Nice pitch, Connor. Um, you, can, you can exchange uh, information and rosters. It's an out. So one down. One down. Just an out. Just a long out. I get a lot of those. Connor. Nice pitch. Ah. It's been a pitch all day. been a strike call all day.
Yeah, no game changer has some new features this season that I noticed that you can actually RSVP for a game, uh, which is nice during um, during like travel. You well, literally, definitely, but like. Nope. Got a runner, see how Benny Go get him, Benny, go get him, Benny. A little off the bag there on the throw. Got a good jump on that play. One ball, two strikes. Good about her now. Little ground ball coming. Little ground ball coming. Back control, you can see that, folks at home. Nice squeeze, Benny. Yeah, and two outs. Nice well, tip. You got two. Got Getting a sign from the third base coach. I have no idea what he was telling him. <laughs> two outs, man, on second. What are you saying besides hit it hard? That's what I can imagine. They do have a nice short game. And pick off, attempt. Get to the second floor? No. No, take it with you. Put it in my bag. One of our parents here has an uh, office. Callaway Capital Properties. Oh, hey, maybe they'll be a sponsor of Wilson Live. I'm working on that. Awesome. The um, it would be ideal for a box for a Skybox. You can kind of watch the game. Nice pitch. It is a nice pitch. I think we got two strikes here. Catching everything, Benny. He's been doing pretty good. Yep. Glasses. Yeah. Yes. Oh. 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 First base empty. No harm. No harm. It is. It got a little bit of a dangerous pitch up. Right-handed pitcher to a left-handed batter with the curveball. You can see that just coming in nice and pretty. Now the new rule is you actually have to make an attempt. Actually, yeah. Well, they, they, it's an emphasis. It's a point role. of emphasis this year. Point of emphasis this year. He did uh, squeal away from it. Didn't really make much of an attempt to. Uh, I call that the Evo Shield impact. Everybody's got so much gear on. They find that to be an effective way to get on base. So this is probably an attempt by the uh, umpire. He's going to clean off the play, and take his time as catcher. Uh, took one to the uh, Yogi's still ringing. Yeah, the catcher's feeling okay. It took one right to the face mask. They gave him a minute. Head. It's just his head. It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> no blood. Look around all you, Jack. Step out there. Nice Low. block, Benjamin. They blocked it, kept it in front of him. Nice job, Benny. Come on, come on. A little high. We got two outs, right? Yeah. Let's see if we can close it out now. here. Top six, two outs. Runners on first and second. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, I think he 
he's actually calling the game too. I don't see any signs coming in from the side. Nice pitch. That's fine, Connor. No big. You got it. The catcher coming up. First time all weekend that hasn't been a strike. back on defense. There it is. Right, there it is. There it is. Ball here. Just got it. And that's the second out there. Chance Ledger. Great looking kid out there. Made that last play. If I wasn't here, you could criticize him for catching one hand. <laughs> one handed. Yeah, we, I guess we could. Oh, I guess that's, I'm going to let the dad do that. Hey, no, one hand is fine. You catch with one hand. Catch with yeah, I would agree with you. The, having the second hand up there is always nice. You know, I don't ever think we got that foul ball that <laughs> it's there in the. Uh... Hey, um, Brian, there's a ball over there. I think it's a game ball. You want to go get that ball? I want to do a. As the parents go back and look at the game, these are the the brave. These are the brave ones. You can see that we've got blankets. Apparently, this blanket came off Woodfin's uh, bed. Uh, so the parents are staying warm, but uh, you know, we're just gonna kiss cam. reach it around here. Oh, kiss cam! There we go. All right. Ah, oh, and then we got some waivers over here. Okay. All right. Hello. Oh, look. I guess we razzed Diane enough that she came back out. There she is. Credib credibility. <laughs> Apparently, you weren't watching the live broadcast. Oh, okay. So she. When you go back and watch it, you'll know what we're talking about. On Game Changer. Oh, that's. You can probably, if you want, you can keep that ball. You can keep that ball. Yes, she's not trying to so the high school is the funnest Oh. I bet you that was exciting at home, seeing that ball coming in towards you. It was a little high there. They kept pouring. Uh, yeah, it's all you can get. Oh! There you go! It's our first base runner here this inning. Julian Kennedy took one for the team. That's how it starts. He's a good looking kid coming up here. Noah Gold. Did Diane hear me say that? Is she gone? She went back inside. Diane is over there. She's not listening to me though. <laughs> Nothing? I was just saying it's a good looking kid up there at bat. Big lead for Julian Ludwig Kennedy over there. Kept him honest. Let's go, Wilson. This is your inning. So I'm going to see if I can uh, convince Chris Kelly to come up here and talk about that. Go, go, go. Oh, nobody's there. Oh, great play. Great play. Great play. We're moving the batters over. Talk about the, uh, the the JV team is uh, going out. Uh, this is a second annual trip. Chris Skelly helped out with the last year's trip. He's leading up this year's trip. I want to say thank you, number one. Thank you for leading All up right. the trip. I think it's going to be another good trip. We have seven games scheduled. 
Wow, 24 players attending. Wow. I just completed a phone call to reschedule us to go to uh, Senior Frogs. Oh, we don't think we went there last year. <laughs> Uh, and I think the players will have a lot of fun. They have, players, they, they have these chairs there that are very interesting. Yeah, and Ryan Skelly will be uh, attending once again. This will be a bad oh, boy. That's awesome. Make sure that we get him a jersey. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the uh, Ripken Center there is a really nice facility. I mean, they can play in almost uh, everything but Thunder and Lightning. And all the, all the fields are replicas of decommissioned Major League fields. So we'll be okay. playing at Polo Grounds this year. As well as Griffith Field. Oh, that's nice. That's a deep back spot. The Polo Grounds was a deep back spot. It does. There. I remember it from last year. Yeah, yeah, it's like a mile. About and somewhere between a mile and a mile and a half. And I remember seeing um, like a replica of Polo Grounds. This field there at the Ripken, it's just a super deep. It's like 500 feet deep in the straightaway center. They it is. just make it deep in straightaway center. Um, but they don't make the whole field that deep. Yeah. They just make a, that center field that deep. But we're hoping for something above uh, 41 degrees. Oh, it's a, which seems to be the standard for the spring so far. I'm, I'm sure that they'll be getting some better weather. Maybe not beach weather. Go, go! All right. Get the, get the, get the. He's in there. Oh, they got the third baseman out. We got third. He advanced on his own. You actually can't advance. The rule is you can't advance. You, you um, advance at your own risk. You advance at your own risk if you're on base. If there's a runner at first, you're out automatically. Um, so they got two outs on that play, unfortunately. So we got a runner at second, no goal. Felt like he got in nicely under the tag on that one. Yeah, I missed it with the camera. Um, so. Maybe uh, for those of you at home, you can take a look at the uh, replay features. I don't know if I got that that uh, play, but I didn't move the camera, so I'll, I'll own that one. Dave Thompson not moving the camera. Yeah. He's watching the play, not uh, moving the camera. Um, we'll so senior live on as an ongoing controversy. So in senior this frogs tight game. What's a senior? Yeah, <laughs> a nice big hard hit. Foul ball. Um, so uh, senior frogs is one place that they're staying, uh, eating dinner at. What's another? Is there another? Uh, I believe they're going back to the. Uh, Pizza arcade location. Oh, okay. And we're going to play some games. And yeah. It's all you need yeah. pizza. And other buffet options. Are they to, going to the rib place? Uh, S Simply Southern? Yes. I believe, I believe they Oh, going Simply, Simply Southern, Southern was fantastic. All you can eat ribs, ladies and gentlemen. $12.99. That's a, a free ad there for Myrtle Beach. An important feature of any trip with 15 and 16 year olds is to concentrate on the food. Yes. No, that is very important to 15 and 16 year olds. The baseball is considered somewhat ancillary. The process. Yeah. Now, question: Are they going to the go karts this year? Ah! That one's not you, Jack. I was, I was, Sometimes I have to do that. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's, yeah. Um, we're not sure. They do have one team outing, which is currently okay. scheduled for Ripley's Believe It or Not, okay. which has a, a large, difficult to believe facility. Oh, oh, way to work it! So, so two hit by pitches this inning. We got runners on first and second. And they got a big hitter here, Drew Kalasi coming up to bat. We got a uh, low power move. See if I can. Uh, it's Diz and Drew, drive it. See if I can get some more battery here. Turn out, turn out. Uh, see if we can get some. I think we got enough power. Oh, Chris Skelly escaped while I was checking the battery. Well, I want to say thank you uh, for his uh, commentary. We were we were talking about it here. So, uh, any breakfast places that you're going to? Uh, all players will be issued breakfast tickets for the uh, the, the fabulous uh, Paradise Resort breakfast buffet. Oh, so we we oh okay. So a little bit different than last year's captain's table, whatever it was yeah, called. Yeah, a little bit different. He's uh, saying it's paradise, and he's doing quote symbols. Uh, uh, quote paradise. Quote paradise with uh, quote marks with his uh, air quotes going on there. And a hard hit ball down there. Little foul. Get another shot. A chance. Big bat here with Drew Kalasi. Runners on first and second, two outs, I believe.
Oh, big hit in the gap. Oh, what we're seeing. It's gonna hit the ground first. Oh, he was off, he pulled him off. So he's safe at first. Did pull the runner off, or pull the, the uh, defender off. So we got bases loaded. Big hitter Santos coming up. Two outs, bases loaded, Santos to Leon. Big cut. Good idea. Pitchers try and get ahead early. Strikes, two big cuts, two big cuts. Got to cover the outside now. Go, work! And strike three. Uh, the frustration. All right, so we're going to the top of the seventh here. Top of the seventh, six nothing. We know that this link is going out late to the uh, Gonzaga parents, um, but uh, they'll get some TV time here. We'll say hello. Good number, are they're packing up a little bit, but a good number of uh, Gonzaga parents. Want to say hello to them? Makes a lot more. Uh, So I just know a gold's mom is leaving early before the end of the game. No faith, no faith. No need luck. Yeah, that's why I'm going to be a fresh breeze or something. I didn't make up the email list, just so you know. I do have to figure out how to get this posted on the... Uh, the website. Connor Skelly is looking strong here. Like, he needs, he needs really good control. He's warm up pitches. We have enough battery power to end the game. Now, Ryan, come on over here real quick. Ryan, Ryan has a ball here. Let me show you what this ball looks like. It's missing. Now, at the middle of that ball, Ryan, there is another ball. And if you're dedicated and, and uh, persistent enough, you can undo the string that's on that ball. And with this big lot of string, but at the middle you'll have this cork rubber ball. Um, it's always fun. It's always like when you're young, when you're about your age, it's, it's one of those things. It's one of those rites of passage where you unstring the ball and uh, see what's at the middle of it. If you ever want to know what's at the middle of it. So that's my challenge to you. The next time I see you, I'm going to ask you if you got to the middle of that ball. Mom, I know, will appreciate finding that string all over the house. What's the niche? And it uh, looks like the varsity team is coming back. I believe they were up 9 nothing. Varsity was up 9 nothing. They were playing the Heights School for Boys, which is out in Potomac, but they played them out in Bowie. Bowie. B Bowie is the name of the guy with the knife, right? Or he was the singer. Oh, it's Jim Bowie, David Bowie, and Bowie High School. Jim Bowie? Jim Bowie is the Okay. Talking about Benny? Ben or?
checking on the condition of his knee. Six nothing, top of seven. A little low. Runner's moving. A wild pitch there. The five straight balls. coming home. Safe at first. Almost ran over the bag. Not real quiet here on the sidelines. It's a strike one. to a single. Runners on first and second, no outs. Everyone's very cold right now. Leather's cold. <laughs> Nothing seems to stick. Oh, they got him caught. Uh, oh, hit him. He's safe at second. First baseman went to go cover second. This may require a day pad. <laughs> They'll be working on some of that in practice on Monday. Snuggle right up there, sister. We got it right for ourselves. Right, good block there by Benny Thompson.
Okay, we got bases loaded. Benny's going out to talk to the pitcher, so is the coach. Let's see what kind of decision they make here. Top of seven. He's asking for the ball. Looks like Woodfin McLean is going to finish out the game. Woodfin. That's what uh, Chris was saying. Crowd acknowledgement as he leaves the field. Okay, notice that one of the The warm up pitches here. That's not a criticism. He's a good brick and has been since day one. He's not bad. He's just, he never, what always comes to him is Hard hit ball there, line drive. Here come the runners. All right, we got first and third now. New pitcher, Whitman McLean. They're hitting it hard.
front. First and third, one out, top of seven. Big swing, big swing. Runners coming, runners coming. like that when there's a, a wild pitch or something like that then the catcher has to go get the ball and the pitcher comes up and runs and covers the bag plate one ball two strikes See, it's 2-2 two -two now. Nice. Strike three, two outs. Two outs. Big high infield fly. That's three outs. Three outs. All right, just a pop fly, pop infield. All right, this is it. Wilson is down. Uh, gets eight nothing. And it's the bottom of the seventh. This is it. Now, without any substitutions or anything, we got uh, Morgan, Thompson, and Lasser up to bat. Let's see what they got going. Here comes EJ Morgan.